Hello everyone, music and happiness fly together, and Fosse is always here with you. Music flows smoothly, no fear of issues. I'm back again. In this video, we will comprehensively introduce how to troubleshoot the issues of power amplifiers, preamplifiers, and DAC not powering on. Let's get started. Scene 1, Power Amplifier. Ensure proper device connections. Connect audio cables while the device is powered off and has no input. Avoid speaker wires touching each other or the chassis. After connecting, check that all plugs are correctly inserted into their respective jacks, ensuring a secure connection. The blue light on V3 indicates a successful power on. Make sure to use a power adapter within the amplifier's voltage and current range. For example, V3 supports 24-48V power supply. If you encounter power on issues, try using an alternative power supply and connect to a different socket. The power on procedure varies based on the product model. For BL20A, long press the power button to turn it on. DA2120C and DA2120A requires a short press of the power button, while BL20C uses a toggle switch for power on and off. Additionally, you can determine if the amplifier is completely non-functional by connecting one end of the audio cable into the amplifier's input and leaving the other end unconnected to any audio source. Touch the unplugged end of the audio cable, if you hear noise or sound, it indicates the amplifier is functional. Scene 2, Preamplifier. Ensure proper device connections. For example, using Box X4, connect the turntable's power supply and use a 3.5mm to RCA audio cable to connect the turntable's RCA output to Box X4's MM input. Then use an RCA to RCA audio cable to connect Box X4's RCA output to the RCA input of the powered speakers. Afterward, power on the system, and the power light on Box X4 will illuminate. Ensure a stable electrical environment and check that all plugs are correctly inserted. Use a power adapter within the preamplifier's voltage and current range. If needed, try using an alternative power supply and connect to a different socket. The power on procedure varies based on the product model. For Box X4, use the volume knob to turn it on, off. Note, for tube preamplifiers, ensure proper installation of tubes and try replacing them if necessary. Scene 3, DAC. Ensure a stable electrical environment and check that all plugs are correctly inserted. Replace the power cable, adapter, and try different sockets. For Q4, try connecting to a 5V1A or 2A adapter or using a different USB port to see if it powers on properly. For K5 Pro, the included 2-in-1 plug needs to be inserted with an audio source, and other USB data cables should support OTG functionality. Long press the volume button to power on. Q5 powers on with a single click of the volume button, while Q4 uses the volume knob to power on and off. For DS1, it is plug and play. After connecting the USB data cable, the indicator light will illuminate. If it doesn't, ensure a secure connection and try using another stable voltage source with OTG capability. For Apple devices, ensure the USB to lightning cable used supports OTG functionality. For some devices that may not output enough power to drive the DAC properly, you can try using an additional USB cable for power supply. For example, if your phone directly connects to K5 Pro, but the power light doesn't turn on, you need to use an additional USB cable with a female to dual male configuration. Insert the female end into the included USB cable. Then plug one end of the dual male into the USB to lightning cable and the other end into the power adapter. The same principle applies to other devices with power supply issues. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. I hope this video was helpful to you. Feel free to leave comments and suggestions. Happiness is more than just a bit, and there's more than one music piece. Fossey will always be with you. See you next time.